Hey everybody! In this video, we will talk about the addition of the Digital Human Shader's Eye Shader. When we change the camera's perspective, the eyes refract in a way similar to a fish eye lens. This effect makes it look more realistic and visceral. This video will talk about the various slider settings, the underlying principles behind the eye shader, and some things you should be aware of while using these shaders. First, let's take a look at the materials for the eye. Select the eye and switch to the material list in the Modify tab. You can see that it comprises of two materials, one for the eye and the other for the cornea. The eye shader acts on the cornea because the shape of the cornea is correlated with the actual physical shape of a real eyeball. Once converted to the eye shader, the base color is only used to control the look of the iris. Let's expand the shader settings to see the many subsections underneath the eye shader classified into three main areas. The iris, limbus, and sclera. Slider settings for the eye shader will take effect for the entire eyeball. The base color blend map is a texture used to generate shadows around the eyes. The base color blend map strength is used to control the strength of this texture. Shadow radius can control the size of the shadows in the corners of the eye, while shadow hardness determines the strength for the edges of the shadow areas. Specular scale can be used to determine the specular value of the eye with zero having no effect and higher values equate to stronger highlights. There are two parameters under the advanced section is left eye and eye corner darkness color. The eye corner darkness color adjusts the color of the shadows in the corner of the eye. Is left eye is specifically designed to make the left and right eyes look different. It is used to flip scleras, diffuse and normal map vertically and horizontally. Let's use the sclera map as an example and focus on the blood vessels in the lower right corner of the map. After activating is left eye, the blood vessels will move to the upper right corner. So if I now uncheck this parameter for the left eye, both sides of the sclera will look the same. Now let's take a look at the sliders for the iris section. The iris depth scale is used to control the fitting of the iris on the central convex surface of the eye. Zero being fully retracted, while one is fully protruded and completely convex. The iris normal controls the surface details, much like a bump channel. You can also adjust the iris roughness settings to blend between a wet and dry look. Iris color brightness is used to control the brightness of the iris region. Pupil scale is used to dilate or constrict the size of the pupils. Open the advanced section and the first parameter that we see is the IOR, which is used to simulate the refractive index of the iris. Take a look at the structural diagram of the eye. There is a layer of liquid between the cornea and iris called the aqueous humor. Light entering the aqueous humor has a tendency to deflect, and IOR is used to determine the degree of deflection. Iris cloudy color can be used to apply a layer of coloring on top of the iris. In most cases, the default black color will do. 
The inner iris color is used to dye the iris itself, giving it more variation. The inner iris scale is used to control the size of the inner iris mask. You can control the shape of this mask with the inner iris mask. The iris UV radius controls the size of the iris. While the iris color has influence outside of the range of the inner iris mask. The cornea limbus is the border between the cornea and the sclera, which is the whites of the eye. Limbus UV width color controls the width of the limbus, while limbus dark scale controls the intensity of the limbus. The sclera subsection can be used to adjust the eye whites, including the brightness, roughness, normal, and normal size. The sclera texture has influence over the entire eye except for the region of the iris. Sclera brightness can be used to adjust the intensity of the brightness. Scalera roughness can be used to make this region look dry or wet. While Scalera flatten normal controls the normal intensity. Scalera normal UV scale controls the amount of tiling for the normal texture. Lesser scale equates to less tiling and vice versa. When the Scalera normal map is changed, the normal effect is changed as well. Finally, the UV radius is used to change the Scalera UV size. Oftentimes, only one side of the eyes is adjusted. If you want to copy the adjusted result to the other eye, you can use the material picker and paint bucket tool above the material list. Just like how I have the right eye adjusted, but the left eye is not the result I want. At this time, I can use the pick material tool on the right eye, and then use the paint bucket material tool on the left eye. Now the two sides have inherited the same settings, including the sliders and textures. I hope you have learned a lot. Make sure to check out our forums at forum.reallusion.com and I hope to see you on the next video.